Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about media walls and how you can use media walls in your experiences. Let's go ahead and dive right in by clicking on create experience. And let me quickly style our first character scene. I'm going to look for a camera. And we're going to use this camera gif, it looks pretty cool. Now for our text we're going to say something like leave a quote or take a selfie. So the reason I'm saying leave a quote or take a selfie is because you can actually link text input scenes and camera scenes to a media wall. So let's go ahead and explore that a little bit. I'm gonna add two buttons here. One is going to say leave a quote. The other is gonna say take a selfie. Now let's add a text input scene and a camera scene and I will stack the camera scene directly below. Let's link it up. Leave a quote is going to go to the text input scene. Take a selfie is going to go to the camera scene and let's see if we can find some sort of pencil character. There we go. This pencil gif will do just fine. Say leave a quote for the media wall. Okay. Now we have our camera scene as well. What we're gonna do here is just have it set to photo only. I recommend you check out the tutorials for text input scenes and camera scenes so that you understand how both of these work. Now let's move on to actually building the media wall. So there are two parts to building a media wall. The first is the media wall itself. So we're gonna add new and we're gonna add the wall scene. And I'm gonna create a little bit of a separation here because this just displays what is posted on the wall, but we actually need to use a block to save that information. Let's go ahead and go into add new. I'll go to the wall section, and the only block available in the wall section is save to wall. We'll click on that, and then we will add it right in between our media wall and our text and camera scenes. Now, all we have to do is link up our text input scene to the save to wall block, link up our camera scene to the save to wall block, and then we'll link up the save to wall block to our actual media wall. So when you're creating media walls, you need to actually make the wall or select a wall in both the scene and the block. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna create a new wall by clicking on new. You can also select a wall you've already created, but I'm assuming that you haven't made a wall yet, so we're gonna click on new. All you have to do is give your media wall a name. We'll call this My Super Selfies and Quotes. And it'll say in the description, leave a quote or a selfie for the media wall. Great. When you're done with your name and your description, just click on Create Wall in order to create that wall. So again, like I said before, you have to select the wall in both the block and the media wall. It is currently selected in the block, so let's go ahead and select it in the media wall. The most recent walls will appear at the bottom. Here we go, super selfies and quotes. And then a preview of the wall should appear in the media wall scene. There we go, my super selfies and quotes. Leave a quote or a selfie for the media wall. That's all there really is to it. Let's go ahead and link this scene back to the main menu and we'll add a third button that says end experience. We'll have that end the experience. So now we have a fully functional media wall that you can add text to and add photos to. Let me go ahead and publish the experience. We'll call this tutorial media walls and I'll click on publish and then I will zoom in little bit so you can go ahead and scan this code, try out the experience for yourself. I hope you learned a lot about how you can use media walls in your experiences and we will see you next time.